Johnny English is Mr Bean does James Bond. Eva wears his signature Mr Bean suit in the opening scene. I'm embarrassed for Rowan Atkinson. Once upon a time, there really was a great comedian in that body, i.e. Blackadder, and I even thoroughly enjoyed my childhood thanks to a few Christmas specials of Mr Bean. So you imagine Mr Bean as a spy for Johnny English, but I think it's pretty much safe to say that no one wants to hear Mr Bean talk. Johnny English started as a marketing campaign for Barclay Card, and that's where the character should have stopped. I'm not even gonna talk to you about the plot, just think typical spy spoof that's just got zero laughs in it. Just think that. There is a reason why Natalie Imbruglia hasn't been in much since. Oh, I imagine this film really didn't do her any favours either. And then we have John Malkovich as the antagonist. Now, I know that John Malkovich is fluent in French because he spent something like 10 years in theatre in southern France. But my, my, that accent is annoying. And most importantly, what is he doing in this movie? Either he was having a really dry spell back in 2003, or he needed a new manager. Two of the writers on Johnny English worked on the scripts for The World Is Not Enough, Die Another Day, Casino Royale, and Quantum of Solace. If you are the writers for The Real Deal, and the writers for the parody, where do you separate the satire? I just, when I heard this, when I saw this, I was just like, Pfft. it has a predictable plot, but it doesn't relish the fact that it could satire, it could be a really satirical way to poke fun of the spy genre. It just feels like it's taken itself extremely seriously. And not once did I laugh during the entirety of the movie. You really take nothing away from this movie other than the fact that you may need some therapy afterwards. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe for more movie reviews. Please do like the video and leave a comment in the box below with your thoughts and feelings on Johnny English.